So Raj Yoga meditation is guiding my thoughts into experiential experience of being a soul. I'm shifting the perspective on how I see things. So I'm going to draw a picture. So we say we're human beings, but who's the human and who's the being? So we have human here. So So here's the experiencer. Can you see that? Is it big enough? It's okay? Okay. So this is the experiencer back behind the eyes. And the human is a physical world of the physical world. And the body and this is all temporary. And the being is the experiencer. who is eternal, immortal. So I, the experiencer, come into this world and interact with all these things. We have a house, we have a job, are. We have friends. There's nature and the cell phone. So we interact in this physical world, the experiencer who is eternal and these, all these things we're interacting with are temporary. So we can't actually own them, but they're temporarily, temporarily there for me to enjoy, to use. This costume is also temporary. This body that I'm wearing is there when I come and when it's time to go I leave it behind but it enables me to express and experience myself and without it I wouldn't be able to enjoy this world so I come into the world to enjoy the world but knowing that I am not these things I'm actually the experiencer the spiritual being, the invisible being. So we are the eternal soul, 
little star-like being. And again, we come in to this world. And we have a house. And there's a sun with nature. And there's a car. And people. Home. And some hills. And birds. So again, we come into this physical world and we live in the house, but one day that house, we might sell it. It's not our house, it's temporary. We interact, we have a car, we meet our friends, but we are changing our perspective to realizing that we're not these things. We are the eternal being and we come into this world and we will one day leave this world. So we are visiting, we are guests. So how does it feel to be a guest? on a journey. So I'm, everything is constantly changing and I'm journeying along and I stop and I visit and I don't have any responsibilities. I can come and go as I like. So I'm free. I don't own anything. So I cannot lose anything. I am a traveler. I am the player playing a part and I am the observer. That I am the eternal being. This is a physical realm. It is temporary. So on my journey, I seeing myself as a guest helps me to let go, helps me to be free. Everything I've taken is on loan. So I'm shifting my identity to understand the invisible dimension. What we can't see, but what we can understand with the mind. And enjoying the journey. So I meet with my friends. We have a good time, but it's easy to move on. In nature, if there's a storm, it's an experience. It's a, an adventure, but I don't own anything. So if there's a loss, I don't feel it because I don't own. So maybe we can have a little meditation on the idea of being the visitor and the guest. Again, I relax. Observe and accept everything. And I 
become an image of the self as a tiny star. The being who is the experiencer who comes to enjoy and feel happy. I don't own anything. And there's nothing to lose. I'm involved, but also free. Just a guest in this body, a guest on this planet, on a journey, an adventure, a being of consciousness, enjoying. There are challenges along the way. There's adventure, but I am free. Anytime I can move on. The being who is the traveler, who is the experiencer, is eternal. This is the self being of light, the star behind the eye. I don't own anything, so there is nothing to lose. Just allow the lightness and freedom to emerge. This is a wonderful way to realize Truly free. So, in this meditation practice, we are realizing the spiritual being. We are bringing in thoughts, ideas that help us to realize who we truly are. And there are four steps in this practice. So the first step is I observe and withdraw. And it helps to just bring my attention into the moment and to accept everything. And then it's easy to let go. So I'm observing what's happening and then withdraw. So the first step is to withdraw my attention from the physical world, to go within to that place where it's invisible, but I can understand through my consciousness and experience that world. And when I experience, then I know. The second step 
is to choose a theme. So something that we've shared, talked about, like being the guest or being the spiritual being that's eternal. So we pick a theme and then we reflect on that. And something that's interesting to me, something that I would like to think about and we think on it, reflect on it in meditation. And as we're reflecting on it over a while, our thoughts start to slow down. We become more concentrated. So this is the third step in meditation is concentration. So naturally thoughts that are spiritual and positive are slower. When we're thinking worried thoughts, negative thoughts, the thoughts go faster and it's hard to control them. But as I'm meditating on these themes, then the concentration starts to come as the thoughts slow down and I go deeper into the awareness and eventually come to the fourth step, which is feeling. So the aim of meditation is to be able to experience. And I want to be able to feel what it is that I'm experience what it is that I'm thinking about. So as the thoughts slow down, become more concentrated, then we kind of start to go beyond the thoughts or just into the thought with maybe one or two thoughts. And I just go into that experience of what I was thinking. And there's a feeling of absolute peace inside. And so that feeling of peace is a very kind of feeling of fullness that is real, not based on something that I've tried to force, but a very natural feeling. So the main, the main thing that we're aiming for in this meditation is to bring it into an experience. And even if I just make it to the first step, that's a beginning. So that will be beneficial in itself. But as I keep practicing more and more, that eventually I get to the point where I can go into the experience in a deeper way. So, I don't know how many of you are actually meditators already. Perhaps some of you have experimented with meditation and some haven't, but it helps at home to also have a place where I can just sit and meditate, where I can maybe just make a place where there isn't any distractions and uh, I can create some vibrations there. Also, it's helpful to meditate in the morning when I first get up and wash off the day, the evening. And uh, then I sit for meditation. It's like a spiritual breakfast. And I just go within and bring about one of these experiences, choose a theme, and bring an experience. And that helps the day become a better day. If I start the day in that way, then it makes my day a better day. 
And also during the day, we have something we call traffic control, where you can just stop the thoughts at any, any given moment and turn within and think about one of those things, even for a few minutes, realizing who this being is the soul and what kind of consciousness I'm moving through the day with. And then in the evening, it's good to meditate. Seven o'clock is a very good time. It's a time when the atmosphere is easier to meditate in. People are generally more peaceful at that time. Um, so it's a good environment to meditate seven and then also before I go to bed check in and bring some of these thoughts and the thoughts I have before I go to bed will definitely influence how I wake up so best not to watch tv before bed or the news but if I want to have a good sleep I carry these thoughts with me through the day and also through the night. And it's very helpful. So I'm wondering if anybody has any questions before we do another meditation. Anybody have any questions? I was just wondering um, if, how are you able to do the, you know, control your thoughts during the day? How are you able to, like, if you have any tips on how to stop them? Again, the uh, traffic control that we do is for that purpose because it's very easy to get caught up in things. And even being in a retreat center, we get quite busy. Even with the lockdown, we find plenty to do here. But um, when we have retreats going on, it's constant busy. But if I can take a few minutes every so often, and you can actually put a beeper on your watch, or I think we have some music or something, but you can find a way, something you do on a regular basis, you know, when you, every time you drink water, whatever, but create a way that you remember every so often, every couple of hours, perhaps, and just um, take time and just sit for a minute or two or three even and just reflect pick one of these themes first just go within realize you're just the being of light who is it performing all these actions and and I'm actually a traveler on a journey, whatever you want to think. So there'll be a few more themes as we go through the next classes, but it helps. So if I take that break and stop the action and all the crazy thoughts that are going on and remind myself who I am, and then it's easier. And also starting the meditation in the morning helps a lot. If you can sit for 10 minutes, I, I'm actually going to send you some commentaries. If I have everybody's email, I will send you commentaries and you can listen to those too. Um, maybe one tonight before you go to bed, there'll be a couple and there'll be different themes. You can choose which one. And then there'll be more for the next classes. So when I first started, it was very helpful having commentaries, but eventually you learn how to talk to yourself and uh, bring about experiences. Is that Thank that? you. Yes. Yes, very helpful. Good. Um, anybody else? Any question? No? Okay. So we'll end with the meditation.
So again, bring my awareness into the moment and observe what's around me, what I'm feeling, any thoughts that are going. And totally embrace, accept this moment. And take a deep breath. Relax. And turn within the first step. Journeying in, turning in to that dimension that is invisible. I can use visualization and see a tiny star. I imagine behind my eyes a tiny star of light, radiating energy. That is the self, the being, the experiencer. The soul that is innately peaceful, that is eternal, that is the experiencer. The being that is on a journey through life in this physical world. And on the journey, there's many places to visit, many experiences of happiness with others, many experiences and adventures. I may have a house, I have friends, I have gadgets, I have pets, job, all these things are temporary, even the roles that I play in this world are temporary, I'm just playing a part, one day doctor, I move to another country, no more a doctor, Another minute I'm father or a friend. There's so many roles passing by in this journey. So many things. I am free. I don't own anything. I can't lose anything. I enjoy everything. In this temporary world, everything physical is temporary. I come 
and I go. I take things on loan when I'm here and I give them back when I go. This body belongs to the earth. It's not mine, but I take care of it. I enjoy it. I use it to create beauty. And then I move on. This is the consciousness of being a guest. So I hope this has been helpful.